What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Career Mode, this is episode number 130 and we start today's episode off with a game against Turkey here in the World Cup, round of 16 of course after coming through our group with maximum points in the last episode as we fully expected to do, taking on Turkey in a round of 16 as you can see a couple of fixtures already been played, uh, Germany beating Mexico and Brazil beating the host Russia, as we did come into this game with a fully fit squad of course in the last episode Ross Barkley got an injury as we rested the entire team. Henderson came on so he was a little bit tired 70% or probably 85% really but uh, still I fancied our chances to be honest even though Turkey do have some very decent players I still felt as though we will be a stronger side and the first chance fell in the 10th minute as Theo Walcott who was a very good player in the group stages was quite underrated for us wins a free kick here after using some electric pace of his as he goes forward and we have a free kick here 39 yards out Wayne Rooney stands over it and the ball goes into the bottom corner it's an absolute wonder strike from Wayne Rooney and again I'll say it again if you've been watching my club and country series those drilled free kicks those L1 in circles curling it to the left it's just I don't know like do you have a 70 75 percent chance of scoring because it feels like it free kicks this year overpowered everyone knows that goalkeepers are severely underpowered we all know that too but you just never would have expected combining the two would wield you results like that it's a wonderful free kick by Rooney it's right into the bottom corner the goalkeeper maybe it's a little bit slow to move his feet but he can't do too much and it's it, it's just a fantastic strike Rooney with the goal making it England 1 Turkey nil. fantastic strike from range and again I'll, I've said it a few times now but if you ever win those free kicks from that sort of range L1 and circle it don't line it up don't take too long thinking about it just blast it and do what you can but uh, still England 1 Turkey nil. fantastic start and on the half an hour mark Theo Walcott is again causing problems for the Turkey defenders it comes to Jordan Henderson who strikes it and it's a very good save by the goalkeeper and Turkey get the ball away in the 36th minute we had a free kick again Wayne Rooney stands over it but he can't make it 2 from 2 it ripples the top of the net and goes behind for a goal kick so very close there to scoring a second free kick of the game but it was still 1-0 and in the 41st minute Turkey are on the ball here they come through with Shalin Oglu uh, possible transfer target in the future as I really do like him and the shot is taken eventually by the Turkey 4 but it goes wide and behind for a goal kick so still England 1 Turkey 0 and in the 63rd minute here they came forward again and Turkey were looking very threatening and that's why in the 64th minute I was not surprised to see the referee pointed to the spot after Chris Smalling takes his man down and it was just one of those mistakes where you regret it instantly you know as soon as the turkey man had the run on Chris Smalling I thought he'd have the pace to keep the ball in and might squeeze in from a tight angle so I'll pull on his shirt see if I can put him off and instead he takes a tumble and goes down to the floor so no complaints from me there it's a definite definite penalty and a great chance from Turkey to make it 1-1 from 12 yards so a very very good chance there after a mistake with Chris Morning. It's going to be Joe Hart against Tusson. He uh, stands up to take it. Can he score the number 34 against the number 1? It is not a goal for Turkey. Joe Hart may dive the wrong way but it hits the post and is cleared away. So Turkey miss a golden opportunity to get themselves back on level terms. Missing that penalty in Sterling. Almost sealed the game late on but the goalkeeper made a very very good save and eventually the ball was cleared away after Sturridge find Henderson and his shot was well saved by the goalkeeper and it was how the game would finish as well. England one turkey nil so we prevail we're through to the quarterfinals very very pleased with that but it was a very very poor game from us I mean after the group stage success we had scoring 12 goals in three games I thought we'd probably win that game by two or three goals as well that's no disrespect to Turkey they're a very decent nation but I thought you know we'd be the heavy favorite an amazing group behind us we should be able to win that game relatively comfortably instead it was very very difficult and obviously with Turkey missing a penalty as well it could have been very different but the most important thing was we did make it through to the quarterfinals where we take on Spain so taking on Spain the holders of the 2010 World Cup uh, taking them on here as you can see for some reason the teams didn't get shown so I had to sort of show this in the player rating section so not too sure what that was about so sorry regardless but uh, there you go still the first chance of four in the ninth minute here is Jack Wilshere gets on the ball for us and fake shots around his man he keeps hold of the ball here and plays it through towards Daniel Sturridge Sturridge shoots from just outside the area but Kiko Casilla makes a very good save and turns it away so still Spain nearly England nil and that was it for the first half very very uneventful but in the second half here the Chelsea striker Diego Costa is denied by a very good save by Joe Hart using his feet and turning the ball behind for a corner with a very good stop and in the 80th minute of Spain pushed so many bodies forward we had a three on one opportunity here it was uh, Rooney, Sturridge and Sterling involved, Sturridge cuts past PK and puts the shot wide and what a huge huge mess up that was seriously to have a three on one chance against the last defender PK to somehow fail to score 
score. That was embarrassing for me, and it was still nil-nil. So the game went into extra time with the score still scoreless. In the 93rd minute, three minutes after extra time, as uh, Sterling shuts down to Marcos, Sturridge challenges uh, Martinez and wins it back here. And again, we are running clear one-on-one. -on -one. Sturridge beats the last man and shoots and puts it wide. And for the second time, I mess up an absolutely golden opportunity. Give that to me at West Bromwich Albion, and I score 10 times out of 10. This time, I missed two in a row, two golden opportunities. You can see the frustration from the players because I was getting myself great looks and great chances inside the box, but I kept on missing the target, so still nil-nil. And in the 117th minute, Diego Costa hits the post and almost punishes me for wasting two golden opportunities. But thankfully, as he hits the woodwork, we get the ball away, and it was how the game finished. So Spain nil, England nil, the final score. Very frustrated to not score a goal after two fantastic chances. I really should have scored at least, and that's at least one of them, but instead, we would go to a penalty shootout, and of course, England's record in penalties in recent years, not exactly something you want to be proud of if you are an Englishman, but to be honest, I felt as though if anyone could get England for a penalty shootout, it could probably be me, because of course, my record with penalties is pretty decent, but Cesc Fabregas did score the first one, sending Joe Hart the wrong way, Leighton Baines then stepped up for us, and he did the exact same, sending Kiko Casilla the wrong way, and it is 1-1. David Silva then stands up for Spain, a really good opportunity here for the now Tottenham Hotspur man on the game, but Joe Hart makes the save and tips it onto the bar. So, very good save by Joe Hart. Wayne Rooney has a chance to give us the lead in this game, and he does. The skipper, the reliable, makes it 2-1 from the spot, and we take the lead. Diego Costa then hit the post in extra time. Could he score here against Joe Hart? No, he couldn't because Hart makes the save, makes it two penalty saves in a row, and keeps it 2-1. It's then time for Sturridge to stand up and take it, and he sends the goalkeeper the wrong way, so still 2-1. That means the Iniesta must score his penalty 3-1 now, sorry. That means Iniesta must score his penalty against Joe Hart. Can he do it? No, he can't because Hart pulls off his third penalty save in a row and that means we win the shootout by three goals to one. So we go through to the World Cup semi-finals. We knock out Spain and what a fantastic performance from Joe Hart there and three penalty saves. And of course, we're still yet to concede a goal at this World Cup at the moment. So I guess it was to be expected, Joe Hart coming up big in, those penalty, uh, in the penalty shootout but uh, even so a fantastic fantastic win on the shootout and I, I felt so confident going into it you know I really did even though of course England's record with penalties isn't the best and their penalty stats aren't going to be the best either I still felt really really optimistic about chances and uh, to pull it out of the bag there three penalty saves in a row I think that must be a record for me was very good indeed so glad to go through to the uh, the semi-finals where we take on Germany and uh, the World Cup holders of 2014 in this semi-final France vs Argentina and the other one and again, for some reason, the teams didn't get shown. I don't know what it is. I'm sorry. But uh, still, we take on Germany for the World Cup semi-final here. Taking on the holders, knowing this was going to be our most difficult task yet. But the first chance would fall to us in the second minute. Theo Walcott down this right-hand side, crossing the ball in and picking out Daniel Sturridge. The header was blocked, but it fell to Henderson. And Jordan Henderson almost opened the scoring there. His half body going just over Manuel Neuer's bar. But still nil-nil. In the 18th minute, was Keesling gets dispossessed by a great challenge by Kyle Walker. Wilshere plays it through to Rooney, who plays a fantastic through ball to Sturridge. He's onside regardless of what Jerome Boateng says. What a chance for Sturridge and what a finish as well. That is just as composed as you like and I know I messed up two golden chances with him in the game against Spain. I was not prepared to miss another one. Absolutely brilliant finish from Sturridge and uh, as you'll see Neuer and Schmelzer seem to have spent more time practicing their synchronized disappointing reactions as opposed to uh, practicing their defending on the training ground there. <laughs> that was pretty funny but uh, still as you can see what a finish by Sturridge and yeah I know the Spain game it was absolutely I mean you guys must have been watching that those two chances and thinking how on earth did you not finish those seriously but I was not going to miss that one at the third time of asking Germany nil, England 1 Daniel Sturridge with the goal and we take the lead here Joe Hart had to make a very good save in the 28th minute to keep us in the lead a very good stop there and Theo Walcott mops it up down that right hand side and as Muller collects the ball for Germany down this left hand side for them just before half time they work their way inside Mario Götze finding Kiesling inside Sebastian Schweinsteiger who hits the post, and we managed to get the ball out for a corner, so Germany beginning to look very threatening, as you would expect, in the 64th minute here, in the second half, they come through again, Marco Royce finding Mario Gomez, but this morning wins the ball back here, we go on a break, or try to, I felt as though there should have been a free kick there, there wasn't one given, Germany carried on, as Muller finds Mario Gutter here, he goes through one-on-one, -on -one and thankfully for us, the World Cup winner, in the last World Cup, scoring a winning goal, cannot score there, as he blazes his shot wide, so still 1-0, and in the 79th minute here, Daniel 
Michael Sturridge finds Wayne Rooney. Those two having a great tournament together. Rooney finds Theo Walcott down his right hand side, takes on Matt Simmels, beats him with a step over, cuts inside and shoots. But Neuer makes a very, very good save tonight. Walcott, who's been a great player for us in this tournament. But the game does finish 1 0, so we beat Germany by a goal to nil. Still yet to concede in this tournament. That man must be very happy with that record. And we are indeed through to the World Cup final. Absolutely delighted about it to knock out the high holders and make it through to the World Cup final. And here's hoping, touch wood, we can go on and add another trophy to our collection. But as always, guys, a big thank you for watching the video. Really hope you have enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed the episode, please leave a like. And I'll see you for the next episode of Career Mode, which is the World Cup final, very soon.